Ho ho ho, bitch. Three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Welcome back to my channel. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's Harush's for zero favorite things. But this time I decided to give you gifting ideas. So I decided that I was gonna give you a high and low version of some items. So, cause I know not everyone can afford really lavish things, but they are on their way to being able to afford it. I promise you that much. Put your mind, your soul, your energy into it. And I promise you'll get there no matter what circumstance you're in. Once again, thank you so much Audible for sponsoring yet another video. So my gift to you this Christmas is going to be a book called 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Now, if you have not read this book and you're in business, I don't know what you're doing. A lot of people have been DMing me, messaging me about how I made it or how this industry is or how they can excel their craft or how they can excel their business and how they can become more successful. The first piece of advice I give anyone, ask any of my friends, I've even given, given my physical book to them and now I've listened to it on Audible over and over again. It's called 48 Laws of Power. That's my first idea for a Christmas gift to anyone because it is the gift that keeps on giving. You are educating yourself, you're exercising your mind. Go to www.audible.com slash Harush or text Harush to 500-500. Now this book, when you read it, at first you're going to be like, oh my god, who does this? Or like, who moves like this in business? Like, it's so evil. It gives you examples from like kings before, from Julius Caesar before, things that they've done incorrectly what they could have done correctly, how they could have manipulated the situation to work for them, but how I've applied this book into my life. I read it, loved it. I listened to it. I've read this book three times, three times. I've listened to this book maybe six times on Audible. And it is something every single time I read, I learn something new. And the way I apply it, I apply it basically by being careful with people that act this way. You can really point out a wolf in sheep's clothing after you read this book because you learn about mind games and honey, you're not gonna play with anyone. I remember my ex gave me this book and he made me read it. And I was like, are these not the games you're playing on me? Stop. There is something missing off my neck. We're gonna start with diamonds, but affordable diamonds, honey. So if you guys have noticed, around my neck, usually I wear a pendant. Now, I got this pendant from a jeweler, and for Christmas, I gifted it to a lot of people because they loved this pendant. I have had a priest bless it. I wear it all the time. And it's technically never off my neck. So we're gonna put it back on my neck. This is an amazing gifting idea if you wanna get someone this pendant. So I got this pendant from George the jeweler um, from Detroit and everyone ended up loving it so much when I wore it, they were asking me where I got it from and it was around Christmas time. So I remember I got maybe 10 or 12 of these and gifted them to people. It is affordable for gold and for diamonds, so I'm gonna link it down below. If you guys are interested in the first gifting idea, which is Mother Mary, it is a pendant, it comes with a chain, and it has a halo of diamonds around the gold. We started off with an affordable and we went to an expensive. Now, another affordable gift, let's start with health. Now, Chloe recently partnered up with this company, Dos & Co. I've tried three different brands of collagens, and this one, I don't know what's inside of it. It's magical, fairy dust. I really don't understand how a collagen can be made this different for the effects to be so strong so fast. It clears your skin. Remember how I was telling you guys I was having back knee problems because of wearing body makeup so much? This clears it, it makes your hair grow, 
It makes your nails grow. It is amazing. The benefits of this is insane. And I think the boxing is so beautiful. It reminds me of like an ice cream, like you're giving someone ice cream. And so my favorite flavor is of course vanilla. And then there's also a dairy free one for anyone that can't have dairy in their diet. So vanilla is my favorite. And also there is dairy free. I swear the older I get, the more I realize things like this need to be, you know, included into my diet. And I didn't know I needed collagen until Chloe told me to try it. So thank you, Coco. Uh, we did an affordable splurge and collagen is amazing for you. Now let's do an expensive. Um, this is called Augustine Butter. Butter, butter. Again, these are all things I've purchased. It is called the Rich Cream. And honey, when I say it's true to its mother name to the T, it is. It is the Rich Cream. With this cream, you don't need to put on serum. So before when I was using this cream, I was putting on hyaluronic acid before, just a bunch of my serums before, and then I was told you're not supposed to, you're just supposed to apply, pat the cream on itself. It does the job. It's the only thing that you need. So if you have the cha-ching cha-ching to get the rich cream and you want to gift it to someone that is a skin freak or wants to better their skin texture, tightness, toit, everything in the book that your skin could possibly be. Toit like a baby, very glossy, very nice, like glass, like everything. Augustine Butter, the rich cream, is the jam. If I would have to say one thing works and it's worth putting your money into where other things you need steps to get to good skin, this is the cream of all mother of creams. Hail to you. Moving on. So since we're talking about skincare, this is called Mount Lai. I actually have another set of it and I purchased this to actually give it to somebody. And I'm just showing you guys. You guys already know I'm a crystal fanatic. So this is Rose Quartz. After you put on any skincare, this is what it looks like. And I've used it in prior videos. I really, really, really believe in this. And who doesn't want rose quartz rolled around on their face? Also, you get this. Shloop, shloop. That's what, it's like a little cricket heart. It's, and it's real rose quartz. And literally it's for chiseling your jawline. It works so good. Um, cool tip for these. What I like to do is I will wet them a little bit and just like keep it a little damp. Uh, and then I will put it in the freezer for about an hour and then I'll use it because it works so much better cold and it deflames your face a lot. Since we're on skincare, we're on a roll here. Let me give you something affordable. Now this brand is called Glow Recipe. Of all the lower end skincare brands, I definitely would have to say this works the best in my experience. From my knowledge, if you guys have tried another one, let me know. It does replicate really high-end brands. So basically, it's the Pineapple Sea Serum, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. If you guys didn't know what a sleeping mask is, when your face is extra dry, you put on a sleeping mask before you go to sleep, and then you wake up with your skin super, super hydrated. And then we have the Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. It is a makeup remover. It is an intense cleanser. So you cleanse, you serum, and then if you feel like it from time to time, you mask. And I think these little like boxes, I'm gonna, again, these are actual things that I've packed up to gift people. So if one of my friends get them, know that it was for you, my friends. <laughs> Basically, I'm exposing myself this Christmas for YouTube. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing starter kit. If you want to try out a brand, I like these little travel sizes that you can try out and see if you are attached to it. And then you can make the splurge into buying the bigger boxes. I love the recipe. I love their mask. I love their cleanser, love their serum. I actually finished two bottles of this myself. And again, I do not put anything on unless I've used it personally myself. The splurge. Guess which lucky friend of mine is gonna get this one. So this is an amazing gift idea. This is from Caudalie. 
And I don't like getting someone one thing unless it's the Augustine Botter, which is like the rich cream. That's a lot for you. That's really expensive. So I'm gonna open this up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have the Vino Perfect Serum Eclat. This is a serum. It is oil-free. If you guys don't know Caudalie, then you don't know me because this is my ride or die like brand I've been put on for eight years now. Then we have the Caudalie. This is the nighttime cream. It's the brightening gly glycolic, the brightening gly glycolic night cream. I can't say words. You know, I'm Romanian. This comes with it. Okay, this is like my soft spot. Premier La Cru. This is, you know how like brands have um, a little bit more oomph? This is that oomph that you're gonna need. This is the more expensive one. It's La Creme Youch. So this is the uh, anti-age, again, anything anti-aging for me is a turn on. You say anti-age, I cream, so anti-age all day long. One of my favorite masks of all time. This is the peeling uh, glycolic mask from Caudalie. Till this day, I use this mask once every two weeks. You get the micellar water. Water. So micellar water breaks me out, believe it or not. It gives me texture on my skin. The only brand, not the only brand. There's three brands that don't break me out. Caudalie is one of them because it includes all natural ingredients. We have, oh, this one opened. This is the Vino Perfect hand cream. And right now we are all using hand sanitizer like a bunch of crackheads for no reason. You can just wash your hands. It's the same thing. I mean, honestly, it's caused eczema for me. Like I have eczema right here, eczema on my hand. And we forget that if you are going to use hand sanitizer like a crackhead, you need to put on hand cream afterwards because it takes all the moisture out of your hand and your hand can crack. Like literally my thumb, I hope you guys can see the texture. It's like flaking. And then over here, my skin is like literally peeling off. So I get eczema on my hands if I use hand sanitizer too much, which I am guilty of because I'm a makeup artist. I really so badly want to open this up and just give my face a spritz, but I know I'd be using someone's like holiday gift. <laughs> no, I'm not joking when I really say this. Uh, majority of the stuff in front of me is other people's gifts. So I don't know why I was a little bit too lazy and I went and got other people's gifts and uh, brought it instead of just getting two of them, but oh well. This is a beauty elixir smoothing a glowing complexion. You guys don't understand how amazing this smells. You know, like when people spray like the Tatcha, this is my jam, especially when I do natural looks. I love spraying it. I feel like it makes my makeup look dewy. Even if you're not wearing makeup and you spray this on your face, it just really soothes your skin. If your skin is irritated, if you used makeup wipes and your face is again irate, spray this on your face. It smooths and calms your face. You, can you tell this person's gonna be hella lucky? So this is the makeup removing cleansing oil. So I consider this one present because I put all these things together because it's like a complete set of how someone can take care of their skin. Get what I mean? So you can purchase these separately, but I chose to put a box together with all of these together. This is the makeup remover. And of course, this is the famous instant foaming cleanser using a grape seed extract. I have been using this for over eight years and still till this day is in my skincare routine. It is my absolute favorite cleanser in the entire world, dead or alive, just continued or still running. You know what I mean? As Miss Nicki Minaj said. Set the pussy top, five, dead or alive. Let's put this back now. So we did expensive. Let's do affordable. I promise I'm not going to only stick to skincare, but y'all, we're in COVID. We're in a quarantine. What else are you motherfucking gonna do with your time? Like, really, what else are you gonna do? Aside from watching TV, please at least just read the 48 Laws of Power. If you are just sitting there and planning for your glow up, for your revenge, for you to get back into this shit and run this motherfucking game, listen to anything Robert Greene has written, one of the most intelligent men I have ever, ever, ever heard about, read about. I met him at a book signing. 
Robert Greene is somebody, when I say age is nothing but a number, Homeboy worked 80 different jobs just to keep it moving, just to make ends meet. At the age of 36 is when he wrote his first book, when he made it. He became an international bestseller. Any book of Robert Greene, I tell you to download from Audible. I can just keep giving you names and names and names, but I know I'm gonna get more Audible deals because I know my book list is banging, like my you know, music playlist. Uh, I don't listen to books unless it's gonna benefit me somehow. I don't like to watch movies unless it's gonna benefit me somehow. Everything in my life, I wanna see a benefit. I wanna see a growth. Audible right now has a new membership plan called Audible Plus. It gives you exclusive access to ad-free thousands of Audibles and podcasts. Now is the best time to try it with the holiday offer $4.95 a month for the first six months. After that, it's $7.95. So while you're listening to your Audible, you're gonna take a bubble bath because that's what you do when you wanna chill out. So this is actually my second bottle of this. I love this. I think that you can gift this to someone if it's not sold out yet. Um, the Kylie Skin Rose Bubble Bath. Obsessed, I go through this like crazy. Any bubble bath mousse, you guys don't understand. It smells like white, fresh roses. And who doesn't want to smell like that? And I think that um, taking baths is very essential, mind, body, soul. Just because a bath really clears you, like it takes off bad energy. I always put like salt in a bath and then a scent because salt takes off negative energy. That's why they say when you get into the ocean, it's really good, it, it will disperse and execute any curse or anything if you believe in stuff like that. Now, when you are taking your bath, I'm gonna give you two options. You know your girl has to come with the expensive one first. So if you are my friend and you don't know what to ever buy me, you can always buy me candles or perfume. You guys know how I found this particular smell. I was in London a very long time ago and I just saw an Armenian last name and I was like, oh, I wanna support. And then I got it. They didn't have it in the US yet. It was only in the UK, I believe. I started wearing the scent years and years and years ago. Now a lot of people do wear the scent, but I don't know if you guys know about the mother candle. Ah, oh, just, I'm the queen of smells. And I mean, anyone you know, you can ask. And the first thing that they're gonna tell you, I can beat a mother face. I know my smells. I can take 1942. I can throw hands. Oh, and I like spicy. But this smell, it is so good. Like, it's insanity. So this is personally mine. Anybody out there that wants to send me a Merry Christmas gift, I want more. But before I move on to the other candle, I just wanna show you guys an aesthetic, how I have this candle set up and two other gift ideas that you can get. So this one I purchased from Louis Vuitton in Rome. It is a special edition, but you can find these on Amazon or eBay and even buy it used. I feel like it looks better used versus brand new. You just look smarter. I don't know why. You just look smarter if it's used because it just like looks like you actually read it because I didn't read it. I use it as something that goes on my table. So this is what it looks like. Then, honey, I got the Cartier one. Yeah, if you guys didn't know Car if Cartier had a book, it does, bitch. It's in Harusha's house. Then I do this moment. I'm rich, bitch. This is what you call a nice table display. Now, if you have the money to purchase all three and give this to someone, they should probably suck your <laughs> And if you don't, you can purchase one at a time. And again, you can get cheaper options for these books. It doesn't have to be the Cartier one. It doesn't have to be the Louis Vuitton one. There's other brands. Find out what your friend likes, like their favorite designer, and get them to book of it. Because if you can't afford getting them something of designer, it's kind of cool getting them book the book of it because it shows that you are aware of their likes and dislikes and that you care. And one day when you're a boss ass bitch, you're gonna get your friend's bags too. Now the more affordable option. If you guys didn't know that Kylie Skin launched candles, you're missing out. So this is Tahitian vanilla and coconut. Wow, girl, you hit it on the mother mark. This smells so tender. I feel like 
I'm in Bora Bora, maybe Turks and no, Bora Bora. I'm in a hut in the ocean. There are sharks swimming down and I have um, like a window on the floor and I see the sharks, the baby ones, not the big ones, the ones that are vegetarian. They're swimming, that's the vibe it's giving. And I'm just sitting there tanning naked because I'm rich, there's no one around me. Yeah, that's the vibe it's giving me. When I smell this, it makes me happy. It reminds me of vacation. It almost smells like, you know, like really good tanning oils, how they smell. If you burn that shit and it like was all across, if you can smear that all over your walls, that's what it smells, it smells like. It smells like the best summer you've ever had, hot girl summer, but expansive. And I love the aesthetic of it, how it's white. It's not too much. I hate candles when there's so much shit going on and you can't use it like in your home. This is an amazing, amazing present. <sighs> Since we are talking about smells, you know, I don't shut up about smells. Another present that you can get, since we all love the Baccarat Rouge smell so much, this is, if you can, again, if you can't afford the full container, it is extremely expensive. I'm giving you other options for it. If you really wanna impress a perfume connoisseur, um, this is a very, very, very elegante sexual perfume. This is not a perfume, it is a scented hair mist. So how scented hair mists work? I don't know, if you're a smoker, you know it catches to your hair. If you have oily hair and you think dry shampoo is gonna hide the job for you, you are absolutely mistaken, my friend. You need a hair mist. I personally don't like spraying perfume directly onto my hair because it has alcohol in it and it dries out your hair. So there is a reason why hair mists are created, Baccarat 540 Rouge Hair Mist. Still talking about Baccarat. I'm not gonna shut up for a second about Baccarat. It's so cute. So my little brother got me this and every Christmas he gets me this. It's really, really cute because he knows I like the perfume so much and he does the best that he can. So what this is, this is really actually cool and it's genius whoever came up with this concept. So this is for your purse, yeah? We always take the big bottles, break them, them up, it leaks everywhere. So these are little inserts, like this one I used, this one's like full. So the way it works, uh, you just literally take it, put it, and it's a magnet, and it sticks. I mean, this is dirty because it was in my purse. I actually use this. It is so chic, so beautiful, and nobody knows what it is in your purse, but you take it out, three sprays, you got 10 guys chasing you. Since I'm on a rant about perfumes, the KKW Khloe Kardashian Diamond Perfume. Now, since the day I've met Chloe, she smells, I can't even explain what it smells like. She smells really good. Like really, 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 really good. It is multiple oils that she wears and mixes it up. And for the life of me, I tried out her oils and it didn't smell the same on me because the oils always reciprocate each skin type differently. It takes differently. So basically, if you want to smell like Khloe Kardashian, and I promise you it's really good, get this perfume. It is affordable and it is one of the perfumes I approve of. There's a lot of perfumes that are affordable that I do not like. I feel like they smell like Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret, I don't know. Those like sprays that I would use in my bathroom, to be honest, but then I know better. I use other things in my bathroom that are way more expensive than that because she's past that. But I do remember once upon a time when she was a struggling artist wearing Sweet Pea Mist. <laughs> Comment down below if you know what sweet pea is, okay? But this literally smells like Chloe. So if you are a Chloe Kardashian fan and you wanna smell like my girl Coco, go for it. Like, I really, really, really like this perfume a lot. Moving on to perfumes now, collect your coins, honey. Have you ever heard of a name called Clive Christian? So this is a gift set that you can get someone. These are really, really, really expensive. They vary in the thousands. So Clive Christian, there's a story behind these. Um, it is said that Cleopatra would use scents that stimulate men, aphrodisiacs. And in each of the Clive Christian scents, um, I'm a perfume collector, so 
Again, I had four bottles of this broken. They're really expensive, imagine the anger. These got saved. It just, it smells, it's intense, but if you just spray it once on your wrist, the way it smells later on, it's just so good, so good. My favorite one out of all of these, I had it broken. I actually like the men's brown one. But if you are purchasing a gift to get these three and the box that it comes in, I throw away my box, but the box it comes in, it looks like you're rich, bitch, and you really mean it and you love that person. The green one out of the three, it just, it smells like money. When You know when a rich person walks by you? Clive Christian smells like that. I feel like it doesn't matter which color you get. Maybe they like... I don't know, burn money and stick it in the oil. There is an undertone or a note in Clive Christian, which includes money, because anytime I've smelled Clive Christian on someone, I'm like, oh, they're rich, they're rich, rich. Like my mom would gag if I got her these three because she knows what they are. If you have the coin for your mother, this is an amazing, amazing gift. Again, three samplers so she can figure out which one she likes. And then here's a little hint for me to you if you're gonna buy like one Clive Christian product, like finesse the perfume lady and tell them to keep giving you like the little samples of all the other ones. I mean, so you don't waste all your money, just be a little bit smart, you know what I mean? Let's get like sanitation and smells out of the way before I move on to the other things. So I swear by by Rito Rose to the point that I, little old me, walked into Bloomingdale's and the reps for Byredo came up to me and they were like, oh my God, you sold out the rose. And I was like, so do, do you guys have more? And they're like, what? no, 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 you, you're you the girl with the YouTube video and it sold out. And I was like, so what are you telling me? There is no more, like I need f soap for my house. There was no soap for me. Thank you, mother thank you. <laughs> like at least one of you guys should buy one for me and then send it to me or the company should have sent me one. These are things I buy, but I sold it out. So I had to like use another soap because I was lit like literally out of soaps. Again, I told you I wash my hands like a crackhead because I need hand cream. So this one is called Mandarin Reed Rosemary Leaf Cedar Atlas A Soap. It smells like a spa. This looks like I don't know, I really like the aesthetic of it and it matches my bathroom better than the Byredo bottle does, but I still equally love Byredo, but I would have never tried this out if you guys didn't sell out the rose. This literally smells like you're at a spa and your hands smell like a spa. Like, you know, that spa water they give you with a cucumber and shit, like this is that level of scent. The rose one smells like girly, beautiful, sexy. This smells very zen. If you don't like smells too strong, you're definitely gonna like this soap a lot. I've talked about this so many, so many times and it's been on my top 40 products. It is not a regular body wash. It's an expensive body wash. It is my favorite body wash of all time, Cotage. It smells so good and it is so good for your skin. It doesn't strip your skin of the natural oils. It actually replenishes your oils and helps to get smoother, softer skin. And again, I was put on to this at Pellicure, which if you guys have not been, if you're in the LA Beverly Hills area, it, if you wanna be reborn out of your mom's pussy, like you need to go to the spa, they scrub your sins away and then they scrub you down with this. And I was like, you have to tell me what this body wash is that you guys are using because I smell so good for two days afterwards. I don't want to take a shower to mix up the scent of whatever you guys put on me. And she's like, here you go, bitch, Merry Christmas. She gave me four bottles of it. And after that, I started getting these. Wow, I put Nikita onto this. She's obsessed. If you try this, if you gift this, you wanna give me a gift, you can get me this too. I never can have enough because again, I wash my hands a lot. I wash my body a lot too. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have a lot of issues. Another product, this is Oro Fluido. Oro Fluido. It is the best hair oil on this planet for scent. Just the way it smells, if you are going to blow dry your hair before and you put this on, any person that's ever done my hair when my hair is wet and I put this on before, like sitting down in the chair, no one can stop sniffing my hair. They're like, it smells so good. What is that? What is that? What is that? It is an amber scent with a vanilla foundation, all organic hair elixir. I just, I wish I could rub it on my body. I, I probably can because I've done it 
and nothing has happened. Um, sometimes I put it on my legs. I mean, you guys have to understand, like, when you guys see this much gone, that means it's probably like fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth bottle. Um, I am a junkie for using a lot of products. I use a lot of products. I'm very high maintenance. If you can please me, that means you're pleasing the masses because I'm very, 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 very hard cookie to bake when it comes to selling products. If you guys want a budget for a luxurious scent, this is $12. $12, but I promise you someone's gonna think this is like $200. If you put it in a nice little packaging and you know you gift it to them, they are going to think this is extremely expensive. This is literally, it smells like the Clive Christian situation going on for 12 bucks. You're welcome. I used this brush in another video. This is probably the best hair brush I've ever used in my entire life. It is from Rita Hair. I have really frizzy, kinky hair. This hair brush with one slide gets everything through, doesn't hurt my head. I can use it when I'm blow drying my hair, when my hair is wet. Like, you know how they go, this is a wet brush. This is a tangle free brush. This is my brush. Like, <laughs> just use one brush. This works for all of it. Like one brush does it all. So let's say if you wanna like give someone, you know, kind of like what I did with the Caudalie, you can kind of do that too with the candle, with the Kylie candle if you're on a budget, um, like the soap and then this. So this I got from CB2, it's Sandalwood Rose. It is incense and actually, if you can't afford to get fresh roses 24 seven in your house, this smells like someone just gifted you a bouquet, bouquet, bouquet bouquet, whatever, of roses. You get what I'm saying. And it is extremely, extremely affordable. It is from CB2. You can get it online. Again, Sandalwood Rose, my favorite smell. I've tried all of them from there. I like this one the most because it's long lasting. And I've had this maybe for, I don't know, since January and look at it lasted. Look, it's like halfway, like below halfway since January. I've had this in my bathroom since before the vid hit us. One more thing for smell and then I'll get down. No, I, I lied. It's not one more thing for smell. Oh shit. <laughs> There's only a little left in this. These are incense. They're my favorite incense for smell. So this is all Mon Du. I will link it down below. These products are kind of hard to find. Number 69. So the cool thing about this is, I mean, don't look at it like that. It's just, I burned it. When you clean it off, it comes off. Um, I've just been lazy to, this got broken. So you, it's a lip and then you put the incense, it's an incense holder and it's ceramic. And again, this could be a nice little table thing on top of the books that you give to someone if you don't wanna get them the candle, this is cheaper than the candle. So this is like a really cool thing. La Object, Oh Mon Du is the scent. The brand is La Object. L-O-B, just click on the link below. I'm tired of this shit. So you put the incense, you can put up to two or three and you light it and your house smells glorious and incense are very good comparable, not comparable, but similar to like sage and um, Palo Santo. It's good for energy, it clears bad energy and we all know I believe in all of that. Speaking in all of that, if you are not a crystal collector, let me break you in. So this is a salt lamp, but it's a crystal. This is one of the coolest gifts you can get. And actually somebody gifted it to me a long time ago. It's one of the first crystals I've ever had until this day I cherish it. I will not stop cherishing it because it's very, very special to me. I wanna actually turn it on to show you guys what it looks like. So you guys can control. I mean, it's really bright in here. You guys know how YouTube studios work. Like I got lights blasted up my ass right now. How do you think my skin looks so good? It turns into this like really beautiful night light. I was like having a light on and it is a yellow light and you can control it. It has like a little knob and you can control how bright you want the light or how low you want the light. And actually I put this in my fireplace. I have a couple of these and I put them in my fireplace and I leave it on. Can I tell you how cute that looks? You're welcome designing ideas too. Remember how I put you guys on to the last scent machine that I have in every single room to keep my house smelling like a hotel? I found a better one. 
I know a lot of you guys have been asking me. I haven't been telling you. I haven't even been telling my friends because I wanted it to be exclusive for this. So my, I, I gotta give credit where it's due. My mom, Tina, found this. This smells like Baccarat Rouge. Like it's so crazy. It's called Aroma 360. It is a machine. I wish I knew the number of the thing. I'm gonna find out. Uh, click, th click the link down below. I'm gonna find out exactly what scent it is, but it smells like Baccarat Rouge. This machine, when you turn it on from the dispenser here from time to time, it squirts. Lavish, money, good smelling. Any, I put this in my kitchen and it basically cancels out garlic, onions, like anything. I put it in um, other bedrooms. Anytime any single person has ever walked into my house or I've walked past, I have never not been stopped and asked or somebody else has asked somebody like, why does she smell like that? But to find out, my mom told me, found this and she's like, this smells like you. You have to give this a try. And I was so stuck on my ways with my old machine that I didn't give it a try until I stayed at her house for a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, your whole house smells like me. What is this? And she's like, it's the machine I told you about. We went and asked one of the hotel managers what machine that they use at the addition and this and that and blah, blah, blah. This is what it is. This is what hotels use. So again, Aroma 360, it is insane in the membrane. Now, sometimes me and this bitch argue a lot. Alexa, <laughs> I think if you don't have an Alexa, you need to get one. It. I didn't know I needed one until I had one. Like, she's a know-it-all. She talks back. Sometimes I, when I'm pissed off, I like talk shit to her and she'll be like, that's not nice and I have to check myself before I wreck myself. But it's really crazy, like for timers, for alarms, like I forget like to do certain things, like like every five seconds is like, feed the dog, feed the dog. My poor dog would go hungry if I didn't have Alexa. You can link your phone to your Amazon through Alexa for your groceries. Do you guys know where I would be in life without this contraption? I have an automated system. I tell her what I wanna purchase and it gets purchased. Like, what the fuck, where are we in life? But I must say, I'm one of those crazy people that thinks she's always listening, so I mute her when I don't need her. And I have playlists on here, like I always like music around me and she's pretty loud. Speaking of loud, you wanna throw a party? Can't afford a DJ. Ugh, I got you. <laughs> In Armenian, when I say this word, it's like funny. Boz, it means ho. It's the Boz speakers. I mean, it really sounds like marshmallows in your house, bumping uh, any of surround sound. I don't know what it is about the speaker. I have a couple speakers, but it's loud, bro. Like it's loud. I'm gonna link it down below. I accidentally uh, bought this. We forgot my speakers when we were going to Palm Springs and I walked into the Bose store at that out, like outlets and I was like, what's your best speaker? I don't even care. Like, so you can remove the plug and just move it around. And I was like, I need like, it's like gonna be a huge house party and there's no DJ. So I need something loud. And they're like, oh, we got you, we got you. And then they gave me this and I was like, this doesn't sound like, uh, this doesn't look like a surround sound system. And they were like, this is the best that we have. We went and turned it on. It was so loud. My friends were thoroughly impressed. And they were like, oh, how did you know which one to get? Like our speakers are not that loud. Shout out to the salesperson over there. I really didn't know what the f I was doing, but thank you for putting me on this speaker. I will put the link down below. I don't know exactly which one it is. I know there is like numbers and you know, all that shit cause it's technology. I will link it down below. Oh and it connects with Bluetooth. And then also, if you're one of those people that like to karaoke a lot, it has a mic insert for karaokeing. Like, uh, it can do a lot. I think it also is a flying carpet too. Like, it pretty much does a lot for a speaker. While we are on the topic of technology, I didn't know I needed one until my parents got me one. Um, I have this box because I'm putting in more. So you can get the regular one, which does not have lighting. Now these have lights attached to it as well. And it comes in like a little protection container. Um, this is like the newer version of Ring. So this is motion sensor, the lights turn on and your ring turns on. 
So honestly, I really didn't understand how important it is to have a ring until I had one. Because you get deliveries, you get flowers, you want to know like who came, like if a creep came and stood in front of your door. You know what I've caught on ring? When I used to live in a condo, my neighbors talking shit about me. They would come past and like this shit like has audio. So I would just turn it on and <laughs> I would literally just listen to my neighbors complaining about me. Um, to that angry woman that used to live uh, below me, I heard everything you said. Yes, I did. Wish you well. Merry Christmas. Let me show you guys something really, really cool. For my friend's birthdays, I buy them purses if they are really close to me. I've been as lavish as purchasing Cardi bracelets, diamonds, uh, tennis bracelets, tennis necklaces, and gifting them to my friends. The way I look at everything is if I've been blessed with so much abundance, I want to give abundance back and I reward loyalty around me because Listen, it's not easy being my friend. A lot of people are come at you with questions, rumors. I have some real ones around me. Let me tell you that from day one, since the fourth grade, since I was five years old. So I definitely think that people like that will always receive from me as long as I keep on receiving. It's because of them I stay sane. I stay grounded because I don't have like yes men around me. I have people like Harush sit the f down people around me like you're getting out of hand people around me or whose body are we burying people around me those are the friends that i have if you guys have a friend or a parent or a loved one around you like that and you are at the border of yes you can afford expensive things but not fully a bag yet let me show you a really cool trick so this is a louis vuitton makeup bag they have these in three sizes. So something really cool about this bag is I'm gonna use this as like a stand. So with this, you can actually make this into a bag with whatever scarf you want. You can either do a Louis Vuitton one or again, if you are on a budget, this is a vintage Versace one I don't wanna f up. Basically, you can just do like a brown one or a cream one, whatever you want your strap to look like. Or you can even just do like a leather belt, to be honest. So you're gonna stuff it inside and pull it out more. You're gonna zip. You're gonna be very careful when you're zipping. You're gonna pull it out like that. And there you go purse bitch from a makeup pochette and like this size purse they actually sell it for a hell of a ripoff so if you want a purse from Louis Vuitton get their cosmetic pochette I'm gonna link it down below of exactly which one it is they do have three other sizes but I think this is the normal looking size again I wouldn't pick like a Versace with Louis Vuitton it's just hella like loud um, I would have done like a brown scarf with this, but we just grabbed something random. But there you go. You created a handbag from a cosmetic bag. Also, you can wear it. I don't know if you like do some fancy shit with a scarf or whatever. It looks like a handbag if you just, you can hold it alone too. I don't know what I'm saying. You don't need to accessorize it, but you can hold it as a clutch. You just untie. And the cool thing about the scarf is it like adds so much character to the bag. So this is $520, but to get a purse from Louis Vuitton for $520 is very unlikely and unheard of. So if you do the scarf trick, you got a brand new purse from Louis Vuitton for $520. Enjoy. And again, clutch or what I just showed you. Prior. Let me show you, sh uh, show you something cheap. So I got this from Amazon. Um, I originally thought that I would be wearing this as um, like lingerie or sleeping. Like I don't know what I thought in the picture I was gonna get. This is the back, it's lace. Like I think the model was really, really thin in it. So it looked like it was actual shorts. This actually goes in my ass. Definitely can't wear it around the house. It, on the model, it looked like she can wear it around the house with a robe that I have on right now. But what I did find 
This shit snatches your life like a mother. Whatever this material is, Jesus Christ holds my soul in. It is extremely tight over here. If you, I wear this with pants, my waist looks this little. It's kind of crazy. It's one of the best, best, best bodysuits I've ever purchased. And I actually purchased it from Amazon. It's extremely affordable. And my intention was to wear it just around the house. I actually, after buying this, wore it out one time and then purchased the nude one, bought three more of the same black ones. That's how much I like it. I actually even started wearing them under tops because it just snatches in so much. You knew I needed to plug myself. Clout, Seawear. If you guys didn't know, I have a brand called Seawear um, and I've designed sunglasses because all I've known in my entire career is baseball caps and sunglasses. Just because I always look crazy, so I cover up my face, um, and I feel like when you have on sunglasses, you always look good. And clouds, I just want, you know, I want you to look at yourself. I want, I want you to see yourself while you're talking to me so you look really, really, really confused when you're speaking. Have you guys not noticed anytime you have on mirrored glasses, you can tell who's a narcissist because they start looking at themselves in the sunglasses. If you have somebody that is an alcoholic, I mean, if you guys have not noticed, I'm doing the silver roll and I'm not obviously supposed to mix medication with alcohol, so I am extremely careful with that. And you guys, if you're taking antibiotics or are on any type of medication, please understand you cannot mix it with alcohol. But if you can, or if you're not on medication and you like tequila or you know someone that likes tequila, 1942. Now, I've put you guys on to 1942 for a very, very long time. Honestly, like someone gifted me this and I thought it was so cute, so cute. They put my picture on the Don Julio bottle. It's just so personal. And then, what? Hello, Don Julio. Crystallized whole bottle, like just for me. Like this is not only just getting someone a gift, this is saying a lot more. This is all Swarovski crystals. This to me was one of my favorite gifts I've ever received. Like who's so kind enough to give me a crystallized Swarovski 1942 bottle with my face on the front of it. Just like, you know, in my head, how I think I own 1942, that's how heavy I put it on. Like I'm the mascot of 1942. If 1942 had a mascot, I would be there like dancing, like giving everyone shots. That is me, that is who I am as a human being. This is such a thoughtful gift. A lot of people have trouble finding me gifts, but somebody gifted me this and I thought it was the most thoughtful thing. I think it was my friend Rocco. It was the most thoughtful, thoughtful, thoughtful present because he put thought into it because I look like a thought in the front. Get what I mean? The crystals and it's something I use and it's something I will never get rid of. I will keep it as a momentum for the rest of my life because I love it that much. We got two options over here. Which one you buying? For people that have a larger budget, the skims, they're cozy wear. You have no idea what you're missing out on. I can live sleep, shower, eat, live the rest of my life in this. I love the color sage. You don't understand what this thing feels like. So basically these are the pants. Again, I love, love, love the color. It's like sage, like mint color, um, just because it stands out and everyone wears the white ones or the tan ones. And I feel like I was like looking different and like discovering the cooler colors of things. And I really like this color. Again, it's like being in a cloud. That's the best way I can describe this fabric. That's the best way I can describe uh, this three-piece suit. Like, it's like literally running around in a cloud all day long. Even my dog, when I wear it, she'll like literally like try to like get in on it. Like, she wants to crawl in into the robe and like literally gets pissed off if I move like because she got comfortable in a space. Like that's when you know something is really comfortable when your dog wants to lay in it. If you can't afford that, I have another option for you. From pretty little things, we all know fast fashion like jocks like the real thing. Some people just can't afford the real thing and I get it. So here's the tan one. Um, of course the measurements are not the same. Uh, they don't sit the same 
at all. They sit completely different. The fabric feels different, but it's close enough. I'm gonna be really honest. You know your girl's real. These are the pants. Like these are tighter than hers. Like hers are just, I don't know, the, the way they're cut on your leg, they make you look skinny, but they're loose at the same time, so you're not uncomfortable. These are tighter. And this is the jacket. So take your pick, which one? There is a lower priced one and there's uh, expensive and then you can already see the texture of the fabric of the difference. It looks the same, but not really. They feel completely different. But again, this is such a good substitute for this one. But if you're buying me a present, buy me this one. You guys read me last time when I put the last Christmas in my top favorite 40 things I had on Notori pajamas that are worth near $300 and they're pure silk. You guys went crazy on me. I read your comments. Calm down. Found you better ones. Not better ones, I'm lying. This is not better, definitely. But I got these from Amazon. They are silk-like. They're $19. I will link it down below. Um, I will link it down below. It's like baby pink, silky. All my pajamas that I sleep in are silk because I believe in like, if you don't have silk sheets, it's really, really good to sleep in silky pajamas because your skin traction uh, keeps your skin looking youthful. Remember what I said, I cream when I hear like anything anti-aging, youth, whatever, jump on it. So these are the pajamas. They are so cute on. I've posted about them before like wearing them and people have asked literally from Amazon. So if you wanna make somebody like a cute little basket, we have that from Amazon, it's $20. My favorite slippers in life, the Ugg slippers in life, again, like this is just on my feet 24 seven. Usually when I'm filming, these are actually on my feet too. Like up top, we have all of this going on, but on the bottom, I always walk into the studio with these on. You cannot remove these shoes off my feet for the life of you because it just so comfortable. These are the Ugg slippers. Again, they make amazing presents and uh, gift yourself, you know, stop walking around barefoot. So my favorite robe, I had a different favorite robe until this came out. Kim's velvet collection. What the f is life? You guys don't understand how comfortable this robe is. Look, look at it matches full. It was meant to be. So I'm gonna link both of them down below. But when I put this on, I was like, ooh, it matches. And so this is a long robe. And the funny thing is she has like the sweatsuits that match with this robe. And I wear the sweatsuit under and then the robe over it when it's cold. And um, I actually went to my friend's house wearing it and they were clowning on me, but she wants one now. So who, who's laughing now? Ho, 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 bitch. This basket is from CB2. I think it's beautiful. And I use it for many things. I use it for tree planters. I use it to put stuff in. I think it just looks gorgeous sitting around. And if you wanna buy somebody, I don't know, if you are able to buy somebody all 40 of the things that I just showed you and you put it in this basket and like wrap it with cellophane, like it would look so dope. But I have to give you a really bouge bouge, you know, situation going on. If you are going to someone's home, I mean, who are the f are you know for Christmas? We're in quarantine. But if you're gonna deliver something to someone, if you're gonna deliver it. But like usually let's say if like someone invites you over for Christmas and you're not spending it in your home, in my culture, it is custom to take a gift for the house. Um, you, sometimes people take drinks, like expensive drinks, or they take them a house gift. But this is, I just think it's so cute how it matches together. Like, how cute is that? I'm obsessed with like Hermes homeware. Can you guess why? Because my name starts with an H. <laughs> but everything like is like hermes -y. like you can put like a candle here or you can put that scent machine and then just be like, ho, 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 Merry Christmas, bitch. And they're gonna gag because you just gave them an Hermes blanket. And honestly, if you can't afford an Hermes blanket, you can get a knitted blanket 
like like crooked or something. I don't know. I don't know why I'm trying to like wrap it like I'm gonna give it to someone right now. But I have Hermes pillows a lot of places in my house. It doesn't need to be Hermes again. I just like the basket aesthetic and I keep blankets in here all the time like in my living room. I don't keep a pillow in here, let's be honest, but if you're gonna give the pillow, it's a really good house gift as well. But I do keep my blankets like outpouring like this and it just looks so cute with the basket on the floor. Any basket with a blanket will do, or if you wanna do like a bunch of gifts in a basket, it looks really, really cute. Last, but definitely not least, another gift if you don't know what to get me, you to anyone that's ever came to my house and took one and never returned it back to me. You, if I've ever left it near you and you just thought you needed to keep it instead of returning it. You, if you take it out of my purse and take the charge away when I get back to it and I try to charge it and the charge is dead. That's how much I love my charges. That I just threw three F-bombs to anyone that touches my shit. This is a new one. Usually I actually label it Harush. And I promise you a lot of my friends have my chargers with Harush and they probably look at it every single time. They're like, yeah, yeah, I'll get it back to her. They're never gonna give it back to me. So if you don't know what to get me for Christmas, candles, perfume, and my charges. That's all I really want. I hope you guys enjoyed this holiday special of Harush's 40 favorite things and gifting ideas. If you guys have different ideas, please comment down below because I burned myself with half the things and I hope I give this, I give their gifts before and they're naughty enough to open it up before Christmas hits. You know what I'm saying? So like they don't get, it, it doesn't get spoiled here and they don't like purchase it before me giving it to them. You get what I'm saying, you get the gist of it. But anyways, I wanna wish you guys a merry, merry, merry Christmas. I know we've been through a lot of shit this year. Please keep positive. Please keep the light in your eyes. And do not forget to download Audible. You cannot be my little friend unless you have Audible because I want you to be at the same mind state as me all the time and in order to do that we need to have the same education level with books for you to get what i like what i dislike you have to have to have to read 48 laws of power by robert green you have to have to have to listen to every single book robert green has on audible you will be enlightened like all the answers of the universe will be answered for you in business and seduction and everything that you want to know. And if anyone is playing you around you, you can catch it like this after you read 48 Laws of Power. Thank you Audible for sponsoring yet another video. Also, just wanted to remind you, use my code Harush. Happy, happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. And don't forget to be a ho, ho, ho.